Hello everyone. Uh, this is um, huh? What is it, by the way? Yeah, we're on the seventh of August, twenty twenty-three, and this is a GSOC a Jenkins Docker Base Quick Start meeting. Yes, it's not the meeting which is Quick Start; it's the Docker Base Quick Start. <laughs> the title. I'm always puzzled by this one. Um, let me share my screen. Yeah, after I don't know nine weeks, I'm still struggling with that. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks. I just had a black black spot on the document, so but now I can see it. Oh, okay. Uh, so I don't think Stefan will join us today. Got it. Uh, so we are on week thirty-two, and there are on. Uh, really? Yeah. And they own that many new items for uh, this week, but we still have some from last week uh, that we have to finish. So from the things I had noted last week, uh, what has been done, we have the push the images to the hub, so it has been merged. The forget about pipeline, move to multi-branch pipeline is also done and merged. And get the GitHub action to test the real job. This one was tough. Uh, it has also been done and merged. So we still have the keep the plugin list up to date when building the Docker image. This one is not really easy. Uh, do not build the images for the end user. Use bit images. We'll discuss this one also. And we also have a little one, which is remove the Jcask proxy warning configuration where we're not using Git pod. Uh, before digging all this subject, Ashutosh, uh, would you have anything to share? with us uh, from this week. How did it go for you? Uh, on the issue, I think uh, it was good. And uh, the testing the real jobs, I learned a lot of things about uh, REST API and how to pull back. So I think that was good. And it got completed successfully too. So yes. OK, thank you. Uh, so the real jobs one. Uh, let me open this one if it's okay. Let's see if it's readable for everyone. I know it's blank for the time being. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, way too small. Okay. No, no it's good. Too big. Well, it's too big. Yes. Big now, now. Yeah. Computer now is good. struggling, I guess. Let me. Yeah. Thank you. So. Uh, up to last week, uh, we were testing all the different Docker files, you know, Maven, uh, Python, Node, and so on, uh, and asking Jenkins, thanks to Curl, uh, please launch a job, which was simple job. Uh, we were waiting for the end of the job, checking if it was successful or not, and then we were um, shutting down Jenkins. But we were testing the very same job in each and every configuration, which was fine, but not enough. What we wanted to do is to test the real jobs. I mean, Maven for the Maven uh, configuration, Node for Node, and Python for Python. But <laughs> it was not just taking a config.xml file from an existing job and then put it in the configuration and run it, of course, because one of them, Node, uh, was asking for some confirmation, you know, um, what is it, abort or proceed? Uh, it was an interactive pipeline. So that proved being difficult. Ashutosh, could you tell us more about that? Yes, so that needed the input. Uh, so uh, for that, I modified the Jenkins file and added a uh, input ID in it, uh, which can be triggered with uh, curl command. And I have updated the uh, readme file for it and the Jenkins file in my uh, fork repo. Let me, you can. I think it should be visible. Want to share something? Oh, as you please. Okay. Okay, let or me... if you prefer, you can share your screen. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Can you see? Okay, we can see your screen now. Yep. It's just a little small. small. Readable for you or too small? Yeah. A Let's little bigger. one tick bigger. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I had another issue uh, while uh, testing this. The uh, uh, when I uh, added this uh, section for GitHub Workspace URL uh, variable, it was working fine with GitPod, but uh, it was giving an error when we are using it locally because uh, that time this uh, variable was empty. So I've also added the uh, if statement for that, and I've added. Why is it highlighting? Okay, okay I've added the input uh, input ID so that it can be um, shared. Yes, could you please show us a curl command? Mm -hmm. If it's not too difficult to <laughs> dig it up, <laughs> uh, I even didn't know that existed. So that's cool. Nice find. Okay, can you see the VS Code or? Uh, only the browser. Only the browser. So Jean-Marc, I don't know how much you have um, already worked with uh, Jenkins automation via curl or maybe Jenkins. Mainly guide. with the. I. Maybe uh, mainly with yeah. the. Uh, Oopsa, with the CLI. Uh, I did my yeah, automation CLI. I was with a the client, CLI. But or... it's yeah, but it's common CLI. line interface, my bad. Yeah, CLI. Um, because I don't know if the documentation is really well hidden or if it does not exist, but I it think does we not are exist things that is... are not. Oh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hidden in the brain of the people that wrote it. So uh, honestly, often you need to look into the code itself. Uh, I did a little bit tri trial of trial and error uh, by using it locally, so it worked. I didn't find any documentation. Uh, I agree, it's lousy. Yes, yeah, so I had this one. Uh, it, uh, right now, it uh, sends the curl command to every tutorial if they didn't, uh, they haven't built in time, but it doesn't affect them. So okay, this is so the job, input ID. job name. Okay, build number input. Wow. Okay, uh, it makes sense. Yes, and I've also uh, I was getting an error before this. Uh, so for that I needed the console output for the the build. So I've also added this. Oh uh, yes. In case in case our job fails, it will give us the console out in the. Okay, so now you know why it's failing. Uh, by the way, did you have? I can't see a sleep before the curl uh, that uh, clicks on proceeds. So how do you know that it's already ready to be clicked? Yeah, if it's not ready, it, uh, it doesn't affect anything. So after uh, under running the loop, loop again after five seconds, it will okay. do it again. And if cool. it if it's wrong, do you fail that loop or you stay looping? No, if the yeah. build, build status fail, we break the loop. If build, uh, building progress is true, it continues the loop. Otherwise, and it if fails. It, but uh, oh, okay. if it does not uh, complete because there is something wrong with it, it will so, continue lo looping. So you should maybe have a count or something like no, that. No, it won't continue. Uh, we have build in progress. Uh, uh, variable which will be false if that happens building program okay, okay so good it, yes okay well yeah done. so yeah when building progress is false then you get out of the um, of the loop yeah. right yes yes yeah and okay, then you good. have a look at the status yeah well done mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, okay, now that you have uh, written it, it looks easy. <laughs> but uh, finding the right set of curl commands, mm -mm, that was not easy. You know, you even had to uh, find was, how to write down the console output. So, yeah. No. I was also looking into uh, if uh, we can reuse this, because this uses a lot of uh, same steps. So, if we can re yeah. reuse this code in the second, but 
I found something uh, like anchors for GitHub Actions, but turns out they're not available right now. They're a building progress. Yeah. For GitHub Actions. Um, we'll see if you ever feel like uh, rewriting some kind of bash library or something to get smaller code. Because a lot of code is the same along these tests. Go ahead. But if you feel like you don't have time for that, that's perfectly fine. I haven't created a work item regarding that. It works also. I know it won't be as easy to maintain as with a library with smaller code, but do what you can. And uh, fine. I, Thank you. I also Go wanted ahead. to ask about. I was uh, uh, working on um, building, uh, importing the already pre-built images, and I just uh, I used the repository. That we that I created for uh, pushing the Docker images with GitHub Actions, and it's working. So, is this uh, how in the end will it work? Like right now, I'm using my own uh, ID for this, but I'm yep. not sure how it will work in the end. This is where um, so this is going to execute as a GitHub action. No, the GitHub action gets executed to build the images whenever there is change in the Docker file. And okay. the files get uploaded. And why do you need authentication here? It is because it's uh, using your name, right? Yes, I'm not sure how in the end, uh, what will we what will be using in the end uh, uh, of the project. Normally, there is a way to get this when you run it in a GitHub action environment. I think some parts were at least the GitHub user. Um, so when you when you run this in a context of a GitHub action. No, no some we don't run this in GitHub action. I was talking about uh, building and pushing the images that is done using the GitHub actions. This is the compose file we use for running the containers. Docker compose up. This is the main one. Right. So uh, 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 let me try to uh, rephrase that just in case, uh, so that everybody gets on the same line. Let me know if I'm wrong. So you're using a GitHub action to build and push to Docker Hub on your repo name, so Ashutosh uh, nineteen twelve yes. something. Yes. The yes. images for yeah for the main branch. Once they are pushed, and now your Docker Compose for just everybody will use these images instead of building the images on the end user computer. So we're yes. not using Docker Compose build, but Docker Compose and that's all. So it's downloading the already built images from your Docker Hub repo, right? And I think yes. your question was, what will be the repo, the Docker Hub repo in the end? Is it repo the right name, the repository maybe, or mm, no, where no, we will store the images? Is it the question you had, Ashutosh? Yes, yes. I understand the question. Uh, hopefully. I think this is, this is under... a constant. Isn't that a constant? I think I it has been defined in the um, GitHub action, but it hasn't been defined in the Docker Compose. So can it be defined? I'm not sure if it can be defined in Docker as variable. Uh, you, <laughs> I think you could, but uh, there, the end user would have to have an environment variable defined somewhere, which is not yes. really helpful. Um, yeah. So I guess that for the time being, we would have to use hard-coded value. Uh, Jean-Marc Bevento, yeah. what do you think? Would you have any other idea for that? No, my my opinion, observation at this step was this is a constant and uh, should be defined. Now, is it possible to define such a thing at the beginning of the, the compose? Uh, but in a compose, you can hard code it and put a comment on top. It's just to move the definition at a place where it is obvious. Now we can use that in the compose itself with a note saying this is a hard coded 
uh, location because in the future we might use uh, the Jenkins CI registry or repository. Registry, I think that was the right name, not repo. You were right, Remark. Yeah. Or no, Docker Hub is a registry. Sure and I think I think it's a repo. Yeah. Docker Hub is a registry because we could have used GitHub on registry, but we would have had the same problem. Uh, the prefix would have been yours. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ashutosh or others, do you think I'd, it's too I'd... early to... Go ahead, John Mark. No? Okay. I was wondering no, no, I, I, uh, if it's... I wanted to hear Bervianta's, uh, but uh, here, uh, I have one comment and uh, just leave it there is uh, we should also document uh, how to build the images uh, oneself. Because I personally wouldn't trust images that are built by somebody else that I don't know, even if it's Ashutosh. Yeah, so as long as it's not in the environment. CI organization, mm -hmm. get yeah. it. Just as a note or or so, because uh, I'd I'd ask the the ISRE people what their opinion is and how we could do that. But we we have a chicken and egg situation. Uh, if we want to push the images to a registry, uh, we need the credentials for that. And Ashutosh doesn't have the organization credentials for Jenkins CI mm -hmm. because we're still building uh, the system. Uh, but then on the other side, we're using material where Ashutosh has the so we need to trust at a certain point. Anyway, I'd be interested mm -hmm. to hear Berviantos' opinion. I don't hear you. We can't hear you, Berviento, unfortunately. Hello? Yep, I now we're good. OK. Yeah, uh, I think it's fine for hard code, but yeah, I'm in the same page for document. Uh, if the user want to uh, build the image themselves, and mm -hmm. yeah, from my from my from my side, uh, usually I also uh, doesn't uh, don't trust the any any image from you know what I yeah don't, don't know yeah I get it. Yeah, I'm on the other side because I rarely did uh, production work, so I always try various Docker images wherever they come from. Uh, life is too short not to try mm, unknown Docker images. Uh, just kidding, but I totally get your point, Jean-Marc. It would be way more serious to do that uh, with um, somebody or an organization that you can trust. I'm not saying we can't trust Ashutosh, but of course people not knowing him not know if his image is okay or not to use got it but as you said it's chicken or egg we don't have the credentials to um push our images to jenkins ci yeah, so yeah uh i think that you're right also regarding the temporary solution which is document everything so people know what they can do yeah cool got it i will create a work item regarding that later on Got it. Should we start uh, a discussion with SRE team uh, in order to host our images in the Jenkins CI, or is it way too early? My vote is too early. My vote is that uh, currently we have many other points to finish. We made a note of it that this is a potential problem. Uh, I prefer that. Uh, uh, Ashutosh finishes all the uh, the demos that we have something that we can really use uh, uh, um, user or public facing 
like the demo you did last week, which is a good example, uh, and that we focus on that to complete as much as possible so that right. at least it's usable. And then if we have time at the end, we can then work to make it uh, production grade ready to publish yep. it. I'm on the same line. Yeah. My, this is my vote, so don't want to influence others. I have the same vote. <laughs> Yeah, we have to. Okay, uh, okay. I should go. Yes. Well, no, he didn't to. speak. He... No, didn't no, speak. I saw he his speak? head move. <laughs> oh. I saw that, so I, I, I saw. It was okay. Sorry if I, that was not the case. But yes, I saw the head move before of the lips. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Bevito. I got it. So we're all okay with that. We'll still use your um docker hub repo ashtosh until we have time to do something which is more production grade don't forget um, to document by it. the way yeah it's important um ashtosh i was still using in the github action that tests the jenkins uh, ci uh building the images locally not downloading the already built images. You're building in the GitHub action that tests the Jenkins CI, the images, right? Yes, yes. This is just a separate cool. branch. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Cool. Okay, so yeah. should I stop okay. sharing? Thank you. Uh, let me find the right button to share my screen once again. Okay, you should be able to see it. Uh, uh, while we're at it, before, yeah, go before ahead. You, you move, a uh, uh, discussion topic is your demo, internal demo here at CloudBees, to give a feedback about it. The one you prepared, oh. Ashutosh, in you. Yeah, so what did you, you remember want to tell that, us about that? That you do uh, Yeah, feedback. I remember. Oh, I should do the feedback. Okay. Yes, but, but Ashutosh fails. wasn't there. Yeah, of Doesn't course. Doesn't need to be now, uh, but so Ash... add that as a discussion item. But uh... oh, sorry. Okay, thank you. Oh. You 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 got the point. I think so. <laughs> so that we don't forget what's written, we thank won't you, forget. Okay. If we take the time to read it, yes. Uh, so we have things uh, adding if condition and put ID, real jobs, not tutorial URL, and multi branch pipeline. We haven't talked about this one, but it was more or less straightforward. I don't think you've got any trouble doing this one. No, this so was, it was mostly more or less doc documentations. documentations. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Just moving from pipeline to multi branch pipeline. Yeah. And Docker Hub image, we also talked about that already. That went fine. And just before the meeting, I couldn't see any new PRs. Uh, am I right? Yeah, I think there's no PR right now in the PR section. Okay, that's cool. So we still have 13 work items, so it's less than last week and even less than the week before. So we still have a big one, which is keep the plugin list up to date when building the Docker images. So you may have seen a few PRs last week because we had some plugin releases. So I updated um, the list of plugins more or less manually you did, and made the you did that progress. Manually, right? mm -hmm. You did In that. Fact, I ran a script locally uh, so i don't know how you should define manually i didn't had a look at all the plugins and see if they were updated i just was running ashutosh uh, main branch and i saw that the instance was asking for a new plugin so i updated the plugin in the instance and then i ran a little bit of script that just compares the existing list of plugins in the running Jenkins instance with what is lying in the plugins.txt file, which is on the hard disk. And that gives me, that tries to create a PR, but that did not work for me. So I had to put the updated uh, plugin.txt 
txt and put it by myself in a PR. So I had to do that, I think, twice last week, which is not really interesting. It's mostly boring. So that's why I'd like to keep the plugin list up to date automatically uh, while we are building the Docker image or not. We could do it at another time, but I thought as we are regularly building the Docker image, um, is it weekly, Ashdosh? Uh, I think it's, uh, I don't remember correctly. Okay. okay, but it's regularly. So for the time being, uh, that yes, should do. I... So I was thinking when we are building the Docker image, we could also fire up uh, Jenkins and see which plugin should be updated. Or it could be at another time, maybe when we are trying a new uh, Docker file, you know, with the Jenkins um, test Jenkins you already have. Or maybe we could create another GitHub action that runs on a daily basis, whatever. Uh, the thing is, we have to have some kind of bash file that compare things to Jenkins um, plugin CLI. And that gets the updated list of um, plugins. And then maybe create a PR all by itself or do something. So we know we have something to uh, update. But yes, a PR would be really the best. I already managed to do that, but it was not thanks to GitHub Action. It's in a running Jenkins instance I have on my uh, machine. And I have, I have a multi-branch pipeline which scans for the plugins and do that kind of job. So I don't know how you should or would do that, but please investigate and see what we can do. The best of that would be an automatic PR. That would be cool. And that's one way to do it, but I think maybe update CLI can do it also. But frankly, um, understanding how update CLI works <laughs> takes some time. So I don't know if it is worth the effort. Jean-Marc, bienvenue. Uh, what would be your feedback about this one? This is a tough one. So I, I, I'd like I to leave so. Berivian to speak, but... Um... I'm always. Berbianto, do you have an idea or a, a standpoint? Um, I, I think uh, we can try use GitHub Action first before uh, instance of Jenkins. Got it. Uh, I think you already have most of the bricks, Ashutosh. You already know how to start a Jenkins instance uh, within the GitHub action. So the first one is kind of easy. And then you would have to experiment on your local machine with the Jenkins plugin CLI to know how to discuss with a Jenkins instance and get a um, complete list of existing plugins up to date. And then you'll see what you can do. Uh, my proposal was to create a PR thanks to the GH tool, uh, which you may have on your machine, which should be part of uh, GitHub Action. I think it's installed by default, which also exists, I think, under our um, Gitpod uh, environment. So you have a lot of different places where you could give it a try. You'll see. Would you have any question about this one? Do you see how you could start with this one? I think uh, you uh, already uh, showed, uh, uh, Mark and you uh, showed a script that does similar, uh, work similarly, previously with checks the... Yes, it's, I... it works more or less, but the script I have works within the Jenkins file. So it may not work the same way under GitHub action because you don't have the same variables available. The environment is not quite the same. So it may be a base to work on, but that won't be a direct copy and paste. I'm sure it won't work that way, but it's some kind of a guide. Um, if it can give you inspiration, that's cool, but I don't think it will do way more than that. Okay. Uh, Bruno and Ashutosh. My point of view on that is that this is a very interesting problem. 
if more urgent tasks are cleared, uh, I would personally uh, tackle that one before the one we discussed just before where we needed the SREs. Uh, if we, we need to explore and understand or describe how to do that uh, before, and though it might be linked because some of the things could maybe only be done if we are running in a real environment. So I, at least doing uh, R&D on the subject uh, would be useful and interesting. Yes, we will all learn a lot of things, even if this doesn't work at the end of the week. That's for sure. Yeah. It's, it's, cool. it's an important one. I know that the paying version has tools for that. Oh, so the, okay. the CloudBees uh, CI uh, solution has in their implementation uh, enterprise grade solutions for that. Got it. The thing is, if we are running that under GitHub Action, uh, it was it would somehow, I think, simplify the workflow because GH is already integrated. All the variables to log you uh, in the GitHub repo and so on, it's always available, I think. So you could do GH, um, what is it? G GH PR create something. It would be way easier to do that on the GitHub action than on your own machine. So that's maybe a track to follow. We'll see. But it's, so it's, it's generating. Yeah. But then generating the list yep. of the plugins that are required, uh, can that be done with the with the command line interface, or how would you solve that? Well, what? maybe this is the subject of the R and D. Uh, I don't know. What I have already managed to do is to get the whole list of plugins, not only the one that you are interested in. You know, the one that you put at the beginning in the plugin.txt, I just mm -hmm. want, for example, the GraphView plugin and something like that. No, you have with the Jenkins plugin CLI, you've got the whole list, even the one that you didn't ask for, the one that were bundled with the default installation of Jenkins. So you have this whole list and up to date, thanks to the Jenkins plugin CLI tool. So you should have everything you need to get uh, a PR that lists the pinned version that are up to date. I hope I answered your question and not something you didn't ask for. Mark, did I make my self clear? Yeah, or yeah. It 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 looks very interesting. I I only have a problem with what is the priority of that. So we need to handle that with care, because this can turn into a rabbit hole. But uh, it's definitely exploration that needs to be done. Okay. Uh, then we have a small one uh, that could bring us some comfort, you know, because it's kind of easy. Uh, it's a quick win. I think so. So the do not build images for the end user use pre-built images. I think you've done this one already, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, see. yeah. I, haven't, I, I, I uh, saw that the, a few yeah. minutes ago. Yeah. I haven't created the PI yet, but I think it's, oh, I think it's done. Yeah. You did. Okay. Uh, so almost done. Okay. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, I was just saying I've committed the changes, but haven't made the PI yet. Okay, that's fine. I pushed the changes, yes. Uh, then the next one was about to remove the JCASC proxy warning configuration, because of course we didn't manage uh, in the previous week to get rid of this warning when using Gitpod. We don't understand what's going on with Gitpod. It does something with um, HTTPS headers and so on, and Jenkins is puzzled. It doesn't know what to do, so he's giving us a warning. And it's important to let people know where they're not using Jenkins the correct way. So we don't want to remove that warning for each and every configuration. We only want to get it, get rid of it for Gitpod. We are not proud of that. We documented that, but we have to do that. So have you started uh, this one, Ashutosh? I've, I've tried it. Uh by editing the uh, Gitpod YAML file. Uh, I think it worked. I will make the PR today. 
I have tried it a little bit. It uh, changed. Okay. Uh, no hurry. I just wanted to know uh, if you had started, but that, that's not to say ah, it has to be done today. Not at all. Okay, you have already tried it. Yes, I think it will work. I, I have. I think it should work. But fine. Okay, next is... The next one is dependable, but is not configured yet. I can't figure it out. We did that together, uh, I think yes. it was last week or even the week before. You clicked on all the right buttons into the settings of the repo, but it's still telling me, no, it does not work. It's not configured yet, and I can't understand why. Um, there already is a dependable.yml, so the config file exists. But dependable doesn't update uh, our dependencies, which is a shame. You may have seen last week that I made a few PRs in order to update various dependencies like the SSH agent version. Um, what else? I can't remember. Maybe the bookworm version. Yeah, also. So do I would like a GitHub action. We don't do, have. Do, um, do I don't have know. Actually, could you? Yes. Do we uh, have what? Sorry. An yeah. error. Uh, I let I should have share maybe. No, uh, we don't have an error really. We just have some kind of uh, gentle warning. It's green saying, "Hey, dependabot is not configured yet." Mm. And as it's a uh, even if it's a public uh, repo, uh, we don't have the rights, Jean-Marc, Ashutosh, or I to do anything regarding um, dependabot. We don't have the settings menu on the right. We tried to change the um, rights or should, permission for the user. should have. Yeah. It uh, has, we, but we don't. We did try to change it, but it was not working. I can you guide me? I forgot where it's supposed to be. Security? Mm, maybe I can't remember. Depend about. Yeah. It is a vulnerability. Is open to the no alerts there. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I've done that years ago. I've done that on many repos, even a few weeks ago, and it worked for me. Can you show me and I the code? I did it on my fork. Uh, and it works on your fork? Yeah. Oh, well, that, that must be a dumb, dumb mistake. So no, you know no, how you're to not. Do it. Yes. So you know how and we clicked on the right you buttons. You don't remember. <laughs> I know how to do that. I just don't remember. I think it was in settings. Or even I may give the right link into the P, uh, the issue, no? Uh, would you please uh, select settings? Settings. Settings. On the right, the right tab settings. higher. Settings. Move your mouse right. higher. On the right. Okay, this right. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, you were on the, yeah settings. Quite and then uh, Berento. Quite security. But security and analysis. Okay. Okay. Here's the command. Drag to done. I'll click configure. It's when you click on configure it should open the oh. dependabot.yml yeah okay yeah now, there might be an error in there then you should have a, a, a I can't see anything at all. No. No, no, no. And it's a very same file that works on my fork. 
Uh, so you're using the same file. Uh, yeah. So, and uh, where you come back, uh, depend about security updates. Mm -hmm. uh, that one is disabled. There. No, I, I think it was enabled. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there, when you click on it, you disable it. Okay. Yes. So it should work. Yeah. <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay well would be convenient if we had that working yes indeed and i think it has never ever run uh, if you go to github action it doesn't show us a, an available action i guess yes a lot of them are running, but not this one. Yeah. Hmm. Must be something obvious that we did not spot. Okay. Why do we do that? Depend about alerts. And well, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's maybe move on. Yeah. I'm interested to have Bruno's feedback on the demo. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go then. But I don't know. I don't know what what item you are on, on the list of... Uh... Uh, I think we're done. Are we? Mm. Yep. Uh, the only thing that was left was the end-to-end -end multi branch pipeline project creation. And this one, we may need to discuss this along the week um, because I don't know if we will be able to make it without Docker in Docker. I haven't looked closely uh, lately, so I don't know. I'd love to not use <laughs> Docker in Docker, frankly. It would be... Um, real reason to be proud of the whole project if we can make it up to the end without docker and docker yeah so we'll see uh, once again um try to spend some time make some proposal give us some comments and then we'll discuss in the um, uh, issue and we'll see how we can solve this one so as um for the feedback about our internal demo last week Ashutosh and I prepared a short video just before uh, the internal demo, just in case I wouldn't be able to make the demo. Mm -hmm. And I linked that in a slide deck. And the whole meeting was recorded. And in the end, the recording stopped. And then <laughs> I was asked to make the demo once the recording was stopped. So I can't share anything because it hasn't been recorded. But I think that it all went fine. We've been rehearsing with Ashutosh a few minutes before, so I almost knew what to say. And I think it went fine. We had some questions from Mark, which helped me having a better demo, I think. And unfortunately, we didn't get any question except for Mark. Um, Jean-Marc, what was your feedback about but, uh, uh, this demo afterwards on the slack channel i've seen some positive reactions to what has been pre presented and probably the people watched the, the video of the the demo 
So I've seen at least oh, yeah. uh, two or three positive comments. Yeah, I think people liked the demo and what was really, I hope, uh, clear was the difference between the very, very long existing tutorial and the shorter one we are aiming for. And the thing that everything works with just one command. That's yep. beautiful. Uh, this is also what I've heard as a comment. So meaning that uh, the work that Ashutosh has done and the team here has resonance. So we're, uh, we're on the right spot. Yeah, uh, and I did not forget to say your name, Ashutosh. <laughs> Even if I don't pronounce it well, I didn't want to have all the glory on myself. It's your work with, of course, the three mentors. But yeah, that's really work we can be proud of. Thanks yep. to everyone. Cool. Uh, whoa, it's already 18 by 4 in here. Anything else uh, you would like to ask or comment before we wrap it up i have uh, go ahead john -Marc. go ahead yeah so uh organization here uh so i just want to be sure that um ashutosh knows what uh, to do uh bruno is supposed to be on holiday uh I am. monday i'll be off this for sure next week and uh, Tuesday too. So that meaning um, Ashutosh will be flying solo for part of this week and the beginning of next week. Just want to check if everything's okay, if priorities are set and discussed. Uh, just to check is everything. We haven't said the priorities. Yes, we know what Ashuta should do, but we haven't said you should do that and that in this order. So I was thinking of doing the previous week's uh, content first, then this week's. Okay, could you please say it again? I'm not sure I got it. I was just saying that I was, I was thinking I will do previous week's uh, issues first, okay. then this week. Okay. Okay, but um, you say, John Mark, he would be flying solo, but uh, I'm not so sure about that. I don't think uh, no, Berviento, uh, Berviento is around. Yeah. yeah, that's that's. I just wanted to say it uh, now, but you're yeah. Two of us won't yeah. be there, but uh, Berviento will be there. Sorry, Berviento, all on your shoulders. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. you're in. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, okay. I also wanted to uh, know how for how long you know is gonna be on holiday. I didn't get the date. Two weeks, starting today. <laughs> okay. And I'll be off. But next... I. Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Go ahead. I wanted to say that I will um, have a look at the PRs, the issues, and the shared document uh, every day at night, my time. So yes, I'm on holiday, but I'm kind of there, but don't expect um, immediate answer. That's all. Okay. Good. I'll be 100% off uh, Monday and Tuesday of next week. And in between, I'm still catching up uh, with the project here, so that can be helpful. But they keep piling up things on my desk in of between <laughs> so yeah so i'm uh, and as it is my boss who is piling it so i need to handle that before yes <laughs> so I, apologize I, I also i also wanted to mention i might be uh, traveling for two three hours tomorrow uh, i have to visit my uncle he he has some troubles with his health, it's not uh, oh, that okay, big okay. of a deal, but I might have to visit him tomorrow. 
it's not that far it's only like 3 hours with train from here so it won't call, uh, take much time but just mentioning it and i might yep. need to okay we yes we're not expecting anything from you tomorrow then that's okay no no it won't take that much time but that's fine I know but it's easier for us to say don't expect anything and if anything come that's a bonus. Oops. Don't yes. strain too much. You will be on the road uh, on the train uh, and uh, dealing with not that funny things so yeah. I'm going okay. to do my nasty angle. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to make my nasty matter uh, right now. Do we have a clear idea what we want to have in the delivery of end of this month and make this sure month. that we're working on the right stuff uh, i was thinking uh, when we will be uh, shifting from github actions to main jenkins Uh, that should that be i was thinking that should be included in this month itself um, well i i don't know between what and what we have to choose uh because um we will depend on other people mm -hmm. so um I'm reluctant to include that in the delivery of end August. They're currently struggling for the list story. They're struggling with the bandwidth issue on the Jenkins uh, artifact repository. And this costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So this is where their priority is. So um, yep. Um, so Zomak, what would be your uh, I, I, insight? Uh, to uh, add that during the wrap-up phase and see what can be done. At least document what needs to be done. And Ashutosh could maybe uh, do that uh, as a follow-up uh, for the uh, the Google Summer of Code project. So there is the Google Summer of Code official delivery, and then there are contributions that he could do uh, once the project is completed. So this is my proposal. And so we can decouple the things. What do you think okay. of that? Fine with me. Yes, Bergen, fine with me. What would be your expectation for the delivery at the end of August? Do we have all um, uh, tutorials done? Yeah, the multi-branch pipeline one is left. Still yes, work. This there. one is heavily based on uh, what is it? You know the deprecated uh, blue ocean plugin. Uh, blue ocean. So I don't know how. Yeah, how where this will translate with a GraphView plugin? It may not be good enough uh, for yeah. replicating exactly the tutorial. We'll see. I haven't tried it yet. And I know there are lots of other tutorials around the Jenkins IO website, but I don't know uh, if we could rewrite them thanks to our project. I have to see. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, for me, good way the to... multi-branch. Yeah. The, Go a good way to check is uh, to see with the doc uh, SIG uh, and ask them, mm -hmm. could they already start something with that? Uh, I think two important features uh, required. So one is that we have a good procedure to update the plugins so that when people start the demo, that they don't get warnings. Mm -hmm. uh, on their 
the systems. Uh, and the second one is that we are running on the Jenkins, on on the oh, uh, yeah. Jenkins CI Jenkins system. Now, um, so this is the again, industrialization a problem. Yeah. Yeah. But I as said, I want to decouple these two points from the delivery of Google Summer of Code. Mm -hmm. It would be stretch goals or uh, uh, things. At least we need to document and think about them and say, well, this is the way we can handle that. I see. Uh, because even for just if you just want to change documentation, the thing is you would have to refer to Ashdos repo, and it's not official. It's not part of Jenkins, so that could be a problem. Yeah. You know, if I wanted tomorrow to rewrite the tutorial about Maven, uh, is it something that would look cool to have Ashdos repo? Why Ashutosh? Um, you know, it should be Jenkins something to be part of the whole Jenkins ecosystem, and we can't do that because it's not yet yeah. industrialized, it's not production grade. Uh, yeah. So I don't know where to start. It's worth to ask the documentation SIG, what are the conditions for them to update the main documentation to include uh, Ashutosh's um, tooling? I did ask Mark about this, uh, and he said to uh, he expects me to make a PR uh, in the on the Jenkins.io, uh, which uh -huh. will be reviewed by the which is a good start. Here. Yeah, which is which is a good start to um, start the conversation. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're right. Which so is, maybe for yeah, Maven uh, tutorial, for example. Yeah. Yeah. A few weeks ago, I made a PR that was more a discussion than anything uh, because I wanted to change something for Jenkins.io. And it took lots of weeks before anything got merged. It was more to gather um, the feedback from the community. Would that be a good idea? How would you do that? Why wouldn't you do it this way? And I think such a kind of PR could be helpful for us to progress, to get out of this chicken or egg and or egg uh, situation. Yes. And I think this, this would be a nice way to wrap up the project. So mm -hmm. uh, that we, we can, so Ashutosh could propose, this is the way to integrate my work into the main site and uh, say where well, these two points need to be addressed. But uh, so the one is the uh, upgrade of plugins. The other one is to integrate that in the CI infrastructure uh, of Jenkins. Are there other things that need to be done? This is my proposal. This, this would be a very nice yeah. wrap up. I think so. And we could even create some PRs for, uh, no, not PRs, issues for Jenkins.io and prepare them for Oktoberfest. And then you could come back in October and solve them yes, and win a t-shirt. And you would get a free t-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah. Yes. laughs> or plant a tree. Or plant a tree. Yes. Yeah. No, I think this is a nice cool. way to, to do. But we're, we're, I think we're, if I get it correctly, we're we're done with implementing the tutorials, or we have enough material to have something mm -hmm. to. All the others are uh, think, uh, blue uh, ocean bound. Yeah, I think so. And even the multi-branch pipeline tutorial is full of um, blue ocean. So I don't know. I hope that we will be able to do it with the GraphView pipeline uh, plugin, and without Docker and Docker. And if that's not the case. And maybe Stop we it. should not do this one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Thank you. Berdianto, I haven't heard uh, what you think the um, end of month's target should be. Everything.
book of about we need to start integrate uh, with Jenkins IO. Cool. Thank you. Integrate with Jenkins.io. That's nice. Um, so I won't be able to make it to the Jenkins Docs Office Hour this week. Uh, I don't know if Ashutosh, you will be able to do uh, this one from Friday. Um, if you feel like be. you, yeah, okay, I should be able to make. You can start the discussion with Mark and Meg uh, to see what they yes. have to say about that. Maybe we'll have then uh, a better view of what should be the roadmap. Okay. Thanks a lot. Uh, Jean-Marc, uh, do you have anything else to do, uh, you know, playing the role of the nasty mentor? <laughs> no, I, I, I see it crystallized. So I'm, I'm happy to, to see the results. I, I'm, I think we're, we're getting there. Now, there's still a lot of work yeah. to do. And, um, oh, yeah. and, and this is post GSOC work. So this is, uh, an encouragement for Shutosh not to disappear in uh, in space. The, 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 all the work you did, you're the best one to continue to promote and, and to make it grow. Uh, maybe not directly under the GSOC banner, but then as a Jenkins contributor. Yes. Would be nice. It would. Yes, indeed. Yeah, integrating it okay. in the Jenkins CI is, is a great, great post GSOC graduation. Yeah, that <laughs> would be a great outcome uh, of all of that. Yeah, yes, indeed. I'd never anything that big integrated into the Jenkins ecosystem. So I would really be proud if you could make it. That would be great. <laughs> so uh, I think we can wrap it up. It's already been more than an hour, and we all yes. have work yes. to do. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your time, Fox. Um, the video should be available from 24 to 48 eight hours, and I'll add it to the community Jenkins IO post. Mind with Great. You? Now, Bruno, back to gardening uh, and holiday. Yes. <laughs> Just time to grab a coffee, and then I'll be back in the garden. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Fox. See you. Soon. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.